boom. Timothy Morgan, founder of Giver Marketing, CEO of Giver Marketing. We are here today to dive into your story a bit and give people a little bit of insight into the, the conglomerate of genius that is you, Timothy Morgan. So we're gonna start with the burning question that everybody has on their mind, first and foremost, and that is, what's your favorite color? Just kidding, not that. It is, although I am curious, what is your favorite color? Because colors say a lot about you. So I'm a deep blue dude, deep blue. Deep blue, okay, so that, that's like- Bordering on purple, like deep yeah. blue bordering on purple. So it's like you you think of yourself as borderline royalty and and just like oh, a deep yeah. deep man. Okay, I dig it. You you know yeah. what, brother? You are a child in the kingdom of God, and you are a royal son of God. So that totally makes sense. So well, awesome. Well, the real question is: tell us a little bit of, of your origin story, how you got to where you are today, why you are doing what you are doing. Um, and and kind of tie that into what does the vision of the future look like for you? Yeah, so I, I, as I was a pastor for 15 years, just love, love, love connecting and helping people the best, encouraging them, and also had micro businesses, small businesses that I was buying, building, selling along the way, and it became almost this like one foot in each world kind of a scenario, and then it, it began to be really difficult to find marketing professionals that we could trust in our organizations to get the word out. And so a bit of my story on a personal level, you know, got the kids running around and, and families growing and all that. We, we really decided that the marketing space needed a trusted voice. And so we, we basically entered the marketing space with this, let's be generous, let's give back, let's have a philanthropic edge, if you want to use a $5 word, it, you know, all these kind of things that really was, was built to help organizations get the good word out, not just get the word out, but get the good word out. We actually, not many people know this, but we thought about using um a name like goodwill marketing or good news marketing but that was already used in so many instances that it would we would have been drowned out from a branding perspective yeah so we we were influenced by bob berg adam grant they both wrote books with the name giver in them one is go giver another one is well give and take is the name of the other one so kind of that giving element but uh, those are some influences on how we started our company. My origin story kind of as it leads into the origin of Giver Marketing and now the Giver Marketing Network, thanks to your work and many others collaborating and connecting with each other. So, so yeah. where do you see all of that going with, with your experiences and your passions? Like what, tell me about your passions, first of all, but in, in particular, in relation to not just specifically what the business is doing, but just in general that make you up, that consume you with passion for, for the vision, for where you're going, where Giver is going, kind of all in one. Yeah, I think the long-term picture, and when I think of vision, I, it's a great question because you want somewhere to go, right? But it, it's not the same as a goal. It's a picture. It's like the Old Testament promised land. Like, you know, it's out there, you know, it's good, but you don't know exactly how it's going to look and how long it's going to take to get there. Right? So we know it's long-term. Uh, the long-term picture here that we want to see is basically a world of generous, faith-based, kingdom-type movements that people actually know about. They're not the best-kept secrets in town. They're not just kind of sort of doing a little bit of good here and there whenever they feel like, like they're actually movements. So a world of awesome movements that people know about is, is really what we want to see happen. And then when it comes to our vision and kind of our role in, our, our role in that vision, our, basically our mission in that uh, greater vision, 
we we really want to you know help help bring positive attention to those causes and companies that are the ones doing the good work mm -hmm. and so there's that you know that hey what's our role in this bigger picture and so we just we're excited for that you know over the next several decades we want to see good organizations grow and develop and become more like movements that are hitting the front pages of our screens all over the world as opposed to this negative nancy kind of news that we always tend to see the fear-based uh narrative that we're seeing all over the place it needs to be crushed with positive news yeah just crushed and so that's that's a little bit of my uh, you know our heartbeat yeah i love that the focus is on uh supporting the way that you phrase it companies and causes doing good in the world and and just that focus bringing to the forefront um like you and you said just crushing the negativity and the fear base and and all of that so so that's a pretty tall order to uh to accomplish what do you think the biggest challenges are are to reaching that that picture and that vision in all transparency, man, uh, I, my leadership is developing as we're I'm, the the organization is 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 can only grow, the network can only grow as fast as my 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 leadership and the leadership of the key team members like yourself and others, and if if we don't develop quickly and continue to have mentors that help us reach new levels of impact. And like the network effect, uh, I I I I just I just want to develop more in that in those areas. That being able to lead something that's actually a movement that helps other movements. And to me, that's a big challenge. Uh, uh, operations right now, at the time of you know this conversation, operations because we're seeing so much activity, we need to organize it so that it can be structured to sustain growth and a lot of people talk about scaling this and scaling that and well that's essentially what a movement does it multiplies and so then you're by default scaling to some degree we we don't necessarily want to scale just up in other words generating more revenue with a few more clients and kind of becoming this brand we want to generate uh activity and multiplying a network that goes out as well so that spreads so fast we don't even know exactly what's happening on a nuanced scale the movement takes on a life of its own with this culture of helping and, and giving and generosity what do you think are the the ways to overcome those challenges i think having a real clear track for mentorship in our in our key team leaders is a big deal i think operation operationally we need some either team like team members or power partners or affiliate somebody to step up and basically really take that piece and say look i've been a part of an organization before where i've i've managed and orchestrated and coordinated and and been in charge of the operations of something that has actually grown to not only hundreds but thousands of of individuals involved in a network or a movement of some kind that's what we're praying for right now man is something to underpin the growth because we really don't want to grow too quickly we're growing but we don't want to grow too quickly to outpace what we can sustain in a healthy way we're the highest you know clients have rated as the highest rate reviewed network of marketing specialists that will not stay in place if we don't have some of this structure that helps with the healthy growth mm -hmm. not just the fast growth mm -hmm. but the healthy growth because as you and i know you can grow for slowly for a few years and then all of a sudden because you have your structure and culture set properly you can you can literally 10x your growth in a matter of months that was all built on the foundation that you set for several years it's like painting all the time in the prep 
it was what makes a successful project. And, and the prep prep work is really kind of where we're, we're, we're still at. And once this thing blows up, I, we won't be able to stop it. Like there, it's a movement. You can't stop movements. You, you, you just try to set culture the best you can. And then there's a lot of conversations that spin off from that, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the areas that we're really zeroing in or on right now. Yeah. I, I think that's great. How do you think, but given given that vision, given the challenges to reaching that, given the kind of focuses to solving those challenges, what would you say for 2021 and in this next year? What are what are your 12 month goals when you when you come to the end of this next year and you look back? What is it you're hoping uh, you and the team and the network will have accomplished to to start making that that progress? So right now we have several dozen uh, team members or marketing specialists in our network that we can safely and confidently hand a project to and even encourage them to collaborate with other team members to make sure that they serve clients well. One of the main goals right now that I, I personally have is to see 100 certified marketing specialists within our network so we go from several dozen to basically a hundred or more in the next 12 months. If that happens, not only is the network effect becoming literally like 10 times as powerful, it's actually, it's actually a, a compounding effect. So it's more than that. It's like a hundred times as powerful. Then at that point, all these appointments and calls coming in and all the different activity that's happening on social media and different things that then becomes really easy to say look we got this personality or this person or this type you know the person with this kind of background that's able to help you specifically and get really hyper specific on matching up clients with team members so that their experience is not only really good but it's insanely good like really great targeted it's so stinking targeted. Like where else could you go to find someone who has your same psychographic in mind? The background fits for your project. You're not having to interview 17 different marketing professionals just to manage your social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. is, or, or to build your website or to do whatever, whatever marketing activity is going to help your business. We're going to have not only one person, but somebody uh, uh, right right next to them, somebody, maybe a third option, a fourth option for these same projects. And so there's never really an issue of whether it's a good fit. It's a matter of whether you want to go ahead and just roll into our subscription model, knowing that you can pause anytime and we match you up with an amazing, a lot of people consider us almost like a Uber of marketing because we're matching a driver with a writer who's trying to get to a certain destination. And, I, and we're a micro version of that, I get it, but I'm just, it's just a good visual. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Well, I think that's brilliant. I mean, uh, having having the, the personality in mind and the specialty in mind. And so it is a, a uh, it, it adds power to the strength of the network, being able to not just accommodate the needs of clients, but to specifically match strengths to goals and, and take that to the next level so that you're, cause then it, it avoids the, the one size fits all approach. Um, it avoids feeling like you're just a number in, in a portfolio. It, it has, I, I, I said this earlier in our presentation we had today, it, we are in the age of personalization. And, and that includes not just in the kind of content that is produced for businesses, but it's in, in terms of giver marketing, at least, we are taking that and, and you're leading the charge on taking that idea of personalization with the marketing professionals that we have and specialists, marketing specialists to match them personalized like to the needs of the client which i think is is really 
the 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 sweet spot and the special sauce uh, to this organization, which I absolutely love. So, wow. Well, thanks for sharing all of that, Tim. And uh, if anybody is listening to this today and you think, man, that sounds like something I want to be a part of. I love to, to support other companies and causes doing good in the world. And, and I know that my particular strengths and my marketing niche can support, and I want to be a part of a team like that feel free to reach out to Tim uh, or myself on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, you can also email Tim, Timothy at givermarketing.com. Um, and we'd love to set up a chat with you uh, to learn more about you and, um, and, and see how we can partner together to, to do some fun things. So Tim, thanks again for uh, you being on the, the hot seat today for us to get a little look into the inside of of giver marketing in your life. Super appreciate it. Thanks, Corey. And um, if if for some reason uh, you're you know you're able to reach out to me, uh, Timothy Morgan on LinkedIn, that would also be maybe a shortcut to be able to have a, a conversation before our conversation and just make sure that you know we can find a good time to connect and and make that work for you. Whether you're someone who is on more of the, I need some services for my company side, the kind of the client side, or if you're interested in becoming a, a team member, if you're a marketing specialist who wants to have a tribe, a, a place to land, a family, if you will, of trusted professionals who have your best interest in mind, uh, that, that, that kind of conversation, it becomes extremely powerful because then you walk into scenarios with a turnkey agency uh, that charges pennies on the dollar compared to an agency that uh, would have a lot of high overhead. So uh, we're, we're, we're loving it. And uh, yeah, look me up on LinkedIn. Uh, look Corey up if you, if you have any questions on uh, maybe the team, team side and, and how, how that might look. Uh, if you can't get a hold of me for some reason, that'd be good. All right. Blessings, everybody.